welcome back to my channel. So with my husband still being out of town for work, I am faced with making another dinner for one in case, well, it may be dinner for two if my mom comes over, which would be nice. But this is going to make a lot of quiche, which is what I'm gonna be working on. I am planning to make mini quiches. The good thing about this is even if you make the entire recipe and you don't use them all, they freeze really well. I'm going to show you the ingredients that I'm using in my quiche. This is just kind of my recipe that I've thrown together from different ones. You know, I kind of pick and choose what I like from different recipes and then just kind of come up with my own method. So first things first, I preheated the oven to 375 Fahrenheit. What I'm using is some heavy whipping cream, some eggs. I'm going to be using this as my crust. At first I didn't think I was gonna use a crust, but I think I'm kind of in the mood for that. I have some salt and pepper. I have some mushrooms, a red pepper, half of a Vidalia onion. I have some zucchini. I have half a block of Colby Jack cheese and just a little bit of asparagus. And I was gonna buy some hash browns to go into this recipe, but I had a couple of these ready to grill potatoes. So I'm just gonna grate one of those and use that. So I'd rather just use what I have before I buy more. My veggies are shredded or chopped. I have the potato here that I shredded. I shredded the zucchini. Back here, I have the mushrooms that I chopped, the red pepper, the onion, I shredded the cheese, and I just chopped up the asparagus pretty finely. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add everything that you see on this cutting board to a frying pan. I'm gonna saute it for a little bit, and I'm doing that for two reasons. Well, first of all, I'm not putting the cheese in there, obviously, but the potato has a lot of water, it holds a lot of water, the mushrooms hold a lot of water, but it's not gonna give it just added flavor, it's actually going to make this less starchy and less watery, and then your quiches will be less sticky. So if you don't wanna do that step, you can absolutely throw everything raw into the egg mixture, and it will be fine. But I prefer to do it this way, just because I think that it gives the overall finished product a better texture. All right, so everything is in here, all the veggies, except the cheese that I grated so far. And this is gonna go very quickly. I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper. Let these get some color, let some of the water reduce out, and then I will be ready to start mixing up the eggs. I cracked six eggs into a bowl. I'm just going to beat these up really quickly. And the veggies are still going on the stove. You can probably hear it in the background. And they smell incredible. And if you didn't want to do quiche, this is like a really quick and easy way. You could throw all this into a skillet and just make like a veggie hash. And the reason why I'm even going to this effort is just because quiche is one of my favorite foods. And if I didn't use these eggs, they were gonna end up in the garbage. And that's just not cool. So I've got those beaten up. And now I'm gonna add in my entire little half pint, which is one cup of heavy whipping cream. And if you're in a pinch, you can use milk. I would use as close to whole milk as possible though. All right, so I've got that in there. And the last thing that I'm going to add to this is some salt and pepper and the shredded cheese. And I'm not gonna put the veggies in here immediately. I'm gonna let them cool. Otherwise, they will end up cooking the eggs and you don't want that. So gonna add the cheese. It's gonna have a couple stray little pieces of vegetable on it, which is totally fine. A couple raw veggies aren't gonna hurt. So the only thing I have left to add to this before I assemble everything is the salt and pepper. So as it turns out, this actually saves me a step. If I was uh, making crustless mini quiches, I would have to grease the pan, the muffin tin, but these crescent sheets require no greasing at all, so they must be fatty enough. So I'm going to cut these into small pieces, and I'm going to push them down crust style into each of the muffin cups. 
The veggies are in the eggs, so everything is looking ready to go. So I'm gonna pour this mixture into each one of these little muffin cups. I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like with the crescent rolls pressed into them. It does not have to be neat or perfect or even anything close to it. When it bakes, you're not even gonna be able to tell. I mean, it's just, it doesn't make a bit of a difference. So be as uneven, messy, whatever you wanna do, it's all good. So I'm gonna ladle this into this and then I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 375. I have two annotations. First of all, these are filled too high. These are gonna puff up a little bit. That doesn't really bother me because I'm not serving these to anybody. So if they don't look that great when they come out of the oven, I'm totally fine with that as long as they taste good. The other side note was I showed you some salted butter. There is no butter in this recipe. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, so you can totally omit that. So these are ready to go in the oven. I just took these out of the oven. They're really, really hot, obviously, but they smell so good. So I'm really happy with the way they turned out. They didn't puff up too much, even though I filled them up a little bit high, but I think they're just perfect. And I'm looking forward to just letting these cool and having one or two of these for dinner. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna have some fresh pineapple with it and maybe some toast, I don't know. It just depends. It depends on how the mood strikes me. So I hope you guys try this. Um, the last segment in this video that I will include is just uh, one or two of these all plated up. So that's it, I'm, I'm looking forward to these. So here's what it looks like all plated up and I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna have just one to start. Maybe I'll have two, I don't know. I have some iced tea here and some fresh cut pineapple, so show you what it looks like inside so here's all the veggies there's onions and potatoes and then of course on the bottom here you have your crust and I told you once these rise like it wouldn't matter how messy it looked you know when you were putting the crust in the tin but I'm gonna try this and let you know oh my god it is so good it's like restaurant good i mean you guys know what i'm talking about quiche is so intimidating i think sometimes like i used to be really afraid to try it i thought i would ruin it you know but it's so simple you don't even need a recipe you just need to know what you like to throw in here i think what also would be good is if you added some chopped up crispy bacon or if you like ham you could cube some of that up it's, um this is really good it's all veggie and it's delicious and i'm really happy because i used up some things that i had on hand instead of buying more so so if you thought this looked good i would definitely recommend giving it a try put your own spin on it you know add whatever it is that you love in your baked eggs or your omelets or your quiche and this is great for breakfast lunch or dinner so thank you for watching i hope to see you guys in the next one if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to do so that would be awesome so i can see you in the next one take care